Jack, go. Working with the, uh, the guys at Wasps, we were looking to see what their in-flight running was like. Um, obviously, as a sprinter, we kind of start in the starting blocks. We have an acceleration phase and then we get into running. Whereas with the boys that are playing rugby, they got to catch the ball and just go for it. So it was literally teaching them how to do that a little bit more efficiently. So we have a drill called um, Max Velocity that our coach kind of um, works with us on and it's a really good drill to kind of get you up to speed and really work on making sure that you're getting your knees up and running as fast as you can quite efficiently. Working with Adam Jamili on our uh, sprinting technique and rugby speed. Being a rugby player we do do a lot of speed work but not so much based on technique really and um, and the key aspects and it's nice to hear from a proper sprinter, Olympic sprinter. And basically the main points that I've come across is basically being a, a bit more relaxed and, um, and just really concentrating on relaxing the upper body. And if you rela relax the upper body, it affects your lower body as well. So by doing that, it's, I actually felt like I was feeling really quick today. Any little tip you can take and it kind of just sticks with you um, will help in the game. It's just those small margins that you can take and, and kind of hopefully avoid getting tackled, which is always the aim. Sevens is literally a game of margins. There is more space, but there's obviously everything moves so much quicker. So um, it is, you either, you either put your head down and go for that try line, or if you're slightly, you know, slightly off your running, then uh, you'll get tackled into touch and turn over and the other team scores. So, yeah, definitely got to put into practice over the next sort of couple of weeks in the build-up to the build-up to the tournament. All the stuff I've learnt today, and, and hopefully that'll stand us in good stead for the uh, first round. If you look at, you know, some of the greats that we've got at the moment, like Usain Bolt, he's someone who gets his knees right up there and he's able to increase his stride length. And that's what we seek to do with this drill. The higher you can get your knees up, the, the bigger your stride is, and obviously the bigger your stride is, the faster you're going to move down the track. So that's something that I think in rugby would work wonders, especially if you've got the ball underneath your, underneath your arm and you're just going for it and just quite conscious of the fact that you're trying to make your strides as big as possible to get from one end to the other.